Hello and bienvenidos! Welcome to Contextualize This, a podcast that seeks to provide a diversified and contextualized perspective on today's relevant topics. I am your host, Dr. Norland Hernandez Blando. And this is episode zero, which really is just the introduction to the podcast, Contextualize This. And what we will do is really explain the motivation behind the creation of the podcast. I'll do an introduction to myself, the host, and I will also entice you as to why you should subscribe. So let's get started. Why another podcast, you might be asking? Don't we already have enough of these already? And while that may be true, I still think that there's a need for the contextualization of ideas and concepts. Ideas that range from leadership, theology, spirituality, culture, technology, and so on. There is still this need to make things fit into our culture, into our context. And that right there is the process of contextualization. In short, contextualization is the process of making things relevant. Too often, the dominant culture determines the path forward without stopping to think about things, like different perspectives. Let me ask you, have you ever watched a very interesting lecture or watched a TED talk that presented some great ideas? And then you find yourself thinking, hmm, how would I fit this into my context or my church or my neighborhood, my family, my society at large? If you have, you're not alone. I've asked this so many times. Allow me to give you a personal example of what I mean for contextualization. I have often asked myself, what does it mean to be Christian? And furthermore, I have also asked, what does it to me, what does it mean to me to be a Christian, but also a Latino? These questions have taken me on this journey towards understanding my ethnic and my cultural identity, especially as it relates to my Christian faith. So, I have asked myself questions regarding what factors contributed to my understanding of my ethnic and my cultural identity and also of my faith. And as you would imagine, the answer is multi-layered. Here are just a few factors that I wanted to highlight for this episode. The first thing is familia, family. Family has been a critical component in my understanding of my ethnic and my cultural identity. Growing up in Nicaragua with my siblings, my parents, my extended family, seeing them, all of this contributed to my understanding of this ethnic and cultural identity that I have. Similarly, geography. I lived in Nicaragua. I went to school in Nicaragua, third, fourth, and fifth grade, and every summer, From middle school all the way through high school, I spent it in Nicaragua. So yeah, that definitely helped cement my understanding of my ethnic and my cultural identity. Thirdly, and I think you will resonate with this, food. Food has been such a tangible way for me to engage and interact with my culture. It has definitely solidified my understanding of this ethnic and cultural identity that I carry with me. I feel Nicaragüense when I eat those nacatamales and the chancho con yuca. Lastly, I want to highlight really what I see on social media or films, news, TV shows, things like that. Really entertainment at large. Oftentimes, unfortunately, Latinos are portrayed in a certain way, maybe as lazy or dangerous or uneducated, none of which resonated with me. They still don't, but all of which I wanted to truly help rewrite the the narrative for. I also asked questions concerning the factors that may have helped inform my understanding of my faith. And yes, The answer was also multi-layered. And yes, some of the same things that came out in the previous question concerning my cultural identity 
also came out here. So familia, family was one of those things. Family. More specifically, I think about my mom and how she really nurtured my faith. I understood what it meant to have a prayer life because I saw her on her knees every single night. I understood what it meant to have a relationship with God because she put it on display through every high and every low that we went through as a family. Secondly, and again, similarly, geography. It came up again. More specifically, I'm thinking about language and traditions that are found within a very specific geographical location. While I was in Nicaragua, I'm thinking about those traditions that were at play there. And while I was here in LA, I'm thinking about the traditions in the language that are at play here. And thirdly, think about culture within the context of how it influenced my faith. I come from this Pentecostal background. So worship style, preaching style, and understanding of the relationship, all of that contributed to this understanding that I have about my faith. Additionally, I can think also about the dominant culture that surrounds my life, especially living here in LA. I think about what it means to acknowledge that dominant culture and ask the question, what have we taken from this dominant culture and what have we embedded with it our individual culture. So I think about technology and the use of social media, for example. I also think about worship and music styles and genres and how all of that is impacted and its influence. I think about language in the context of LA, for example. Are we going to do church all together in Spanish, English, maybe Spanglish, or completely separate, bilingual? Okay. So, so far, I've sprinkled some things about myself, but I want to do this more formally. So, let me introduce myself more formally. I am Dr. Norlan Hernandez Blandon. My family is from Nicaragua. Both of my parents were born in a beautiful city called Matagalpa. This beautiful city in the northern part of the country. I am the third of four boys. Yep, my mom had a wonderful time raising us all four boys. As far as Christianity, as I mentioned, my background is Pentecostal. I'm also married, happily married to my wife, Isabel Hernandez. Here's a fun fact. Her last name was already Hernandez before marrying me. So she didn't have to change her last name and it made this whole process really, really easy. And now we have a beautiful princess. Her name is Aela Mia Hernandez. And we named her Aela after an Amazonian warrior in Greek mythology who was only defeated by one man, Hercules. So metaphorically speaking, we wanted to make sure that our daughter had a strong name and that only one man would be able to defeat her met metaphorically and get to her heart. As far as my education, I've had a long journey. I started off in uh, Cerritos Community College where I spent a few years, too many if you ask me, and I transferred over to Cal State LA where I earned my bachelor's degree in liberal studies with an emphasis in culture and society. While I was completing my undergrad, I also attended a small Spanish-speaking Bible school. And when I finished both, I enrolled in seminary at Fuller Theological Seminary. This is where I obtained a Master of Arts in Theology, which really set a strong foundation for my understanding of my faith. I should say stronger. And now I also have a PhD in Intercultural Studies from Cook School of Intercultural Studies. And my dissertation topic uh, talked about the intersection of identity and faith. All of this from within the context of Nicaragua. Now. As far as my professional journey, I have worked every job under the sun. Anywhere from fast food, to retail, to banking, to helping my family with construction or helping my dad in the mechanic shop. Changing tires, changing oils, all of that. I was also doing my own thing with graphic design uh, to the best of my abilities. <laughs> One of my corporate roles uh, was as operations training manager for a global company 
and uh, also in higher ed, I have a few years of leading in Christian higher ed. I find myself now at Vanguard University as the director of the Justin Miranda Center for Hispanic Leadership. I'm also president and founder of a nonprofit called Faithful Teachings, which seeks to resource the church in Latin America. And it is from this context, this experience that I come to you and I bring to you this podcast. And if the conversations about theology and leadership and culture and technology and so much more interests you, and if you are interested in being exposed to different perspectives and seeing examples of how to contextualize these ideas and concepts, I encourage you to subscribe. That being said, thanks for listening to Contextualize This with your host, Dr. Norlan Hernandez Blandon. If you like the show and want to know more or wish to connect with me, check out my website, norlanhernandez.com. I also encourage you to write a review. This is a perfect way of helping make this podcast better. For now, join us next time when we talk about the impact of culture on our faith.